guys, and welcome back to episode 14 of the FIFA 23 Career Mode series. We are going to jump right into it. We're going to be playing against Newcastle United in the Premier League. This is one of five games we're going to be playing in the Premier League in this episode. We're also going to have one game in the FA Cup as well, so six games in this episode. We are really cramming everything in. Um, if my calculations are correct, I think we're going to be, um, I think there's going to be like maybe three, maybe four more episodes left before the end of this season. So, it's, um, yeah, it, it's exciting. And I can't wait for the new uh, FIFA to come out. Now, as you guys may have heard, it's no longer going to be called FIFA. It's still going to be from EA Sports. I believe it's going to be called EA Sports FC. So it's going to be exciting to see, you know, how much of a difference it's going to be. I heard that, you know, the, the official licensing for like the leagues and teams and competitions are going to stay the same so that is really really good news indeed hopefully that's actually true but anyway as you can see guys i'm actually playing highlights the majority in fact all five games i'm going to be playing highlights and it's only the last game in the premier league against tottenham that i'm going to be playing the full game as you can see, Cristiano Ronaldo just got his goal to make it two in this game for Manchester United. A beautiful goal. And uh, we are mopping the floor right now with Newcastle United. We'll see if they can uh, get a goal back here. almost do. They had a good chance, but it was just off target. As you can see, it kind of floats away right above the, uh, the crossbar there. It was a good opportunity. And here come Newcastle again with another opportunity, shooting from long range, but De Gea saves it. A corner for Newcastle in which they do get an opening there, and they do score, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, off the corner, they do score it to make it 1-2. Not really a whole lot day I can do about that. Um, he does almost get a hand on it, but the ball is just too fast. Okay, so here comes Juan Bissaka in the box, chooses to shoot, but it's straight at the goalkeeper. Here come the Newcastle United on the other end in the box, looking to cut inside, they do get a clearing and they do shoot it, Dea manages to get a hand on it, but Newcastle United still have the ball, maybe looking for another chance, they do and it is just wide. Lewis again looking to get his second, make it a brace. And if if it wasn't uh, just wide, it definitely would have had to have beat. Here we come on the other end though. Diallo in the box passes it to Ronaldo, but Ronaldo kind of got tangled up with the defender there. Couldn't do much about it. Here's Ronaldo again looking to pass it, maybe in the box. No, he kind of gets an opening, shoots it, and the goalkeeper saves it. It is out for a corner, but that is going to do it for the first half. Here we are going into the second half here. Looks like we got a handle on it here. Ronaldo to Diallo with an opening. Diallo looking to pass it to Van Der Beek, which is just wide. Ooh, looks like maybe Ronaldo should have caught that ball. Oh, so close for Vanderbeek. But here come Newcastle. 
Newcastle United in the box. Kind of getting tangled up with the defender. She says to shoot, and it is just wide. We're going to make some substitutions here as well. Ilanka and Dalo come in. And here come Newcastle United in the box. Choosing to shoot is wide open, and they do get a goal. situation may be but just know you are loved 
and uh, I really appreciate you guys. Now, um, now with that, we are in our second game here against Leeds. I just made three substitutions, but. Hazard, who's had several opportunities, I think, in this game. He's going to have a few more here. There he is. All two attempts from Hazard blocked by the goalkeeper. And we are in the lead currently. But Leeds United are at the other end really trying to uh, get a goal back to tie it up. We are really hanging on by a thread here. Here's Martial, beautiful pass to get Martial open, but the goalkeeper does save it. And they do keep the ball from going out for a corner, but they give it away. And Nazard has another attempt on target. But we do end up having a corner. We take it short. Here's Fernandez to Hazard once again. Hazard looking to pass it to Martial over to Hazard in the box. And another attempt. Man, Hazard is going to down, but he cannot find he cannot find the goal in this game, but it doesn't matter because we do hang on for the win. Manchester United won. Leeds United zero. It was a good game. A much needed three points by us. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy we got this win and we need to continue that run of form. So 
definitely try to win, try to win the UEFA Europa League and the FA Cup if at all possible. Uh, unfortunately, we did get kicked out of the Carabao Cup. It is what it is. And as you can see, Everton have indeed found the first goal to get in the lead. And uh, yeah, as I suspected, Everton have a lot of confidence, especially after beating Manchester City. But I am not going to give up that easily. Here we come. Iqbal over to Narcho. To Franklin in the box and scores. And yes, that is... Franklin, he is a, uh, a youth striker who came out of the youth academy right when uh, I took over as manager, and he has developed beautifully, getting a ton of goals for us this season um, in all competitions. I will say this, this was a risk this game because I chose to put on the third team, which is a team of younger players so that I can let my more, you know, mature, more experienced players rest because that is, that is important, especially when you get into the, uh, the, uh, you know, second half of the season, there are so many games to play. It's important to rest your, you know, your top, top players. So I decided to give my, uh, younger team an opportunity here, which is again, a risk because we need points in the Premier League. Um, but I'm happy to say, even though Franklin just missed his shot there, I am happy to say that my youth team has done really well. Manchester United 4-1. 
for Everton 1. So really, really, really good game for us. A really good three points that we needed. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy about it. Very, very happy about it indeed. Okay. So I'm very, you know, anxious to see what our standings will be after this game. Hopefully some of the top, top teams have dropped points. That would be great for them to have dropped points. some of the uh, statistics if you guys want to pause it and take a look at it we dominated this game look at that from Franklin 8.9 match rating and he got the uh, man of the match as well unbelievable uh, just a terrific young player and you can see uh, Spurs drop points, but all the uh, bigger teams do manage. Oh, Spurs and Arsenal drop points. Manchester City and Arsenal uh, were playing this week, and Arsenal dropped points. But with that, we're going to go to our fourth Premier League game of this episode against Brighton. I told you guys this episode was going to be jammed to pack full of matches. And uh, again, hopefully we can get the dub here. Here's Sancho in the box, maybe looking to cross it. He does find Erickson. Erickson trying to shoot it, but it gets deflected. We still have the ball. Here's Wambasaka on the right, crosses it over. Ronaldo manages to get the ball, passes it to Madomine. Madomine trying to shoot it. His first shot was deflected, but his second one was just wide. Here's Sancho back to Ronaldo, shooting, and again, Goalkeeper does save it. Here's Van Der Beek to Sancho to Ronaldo. Ronaldo trying to pass it. Passes it to Sancho. Sancho back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo does manage to find some space, but the goalkeeper saves it. We still have the ball. Here's Erickson with a shot, but it's deflected out. And that's halftime. So here we go into the second half here. We're going to make a uh, substitution for Victor Lindelof. He's going to come off for Eric Bailey. And we do have an opportunity here. We keep the ball. Sancho. To Wambasaka. To Casemiro. But dominate with an opening and a shot. And it is deep deflected out for a corner. We make another substitution. Morgan Franklin is going to come in off his uh, stellar performance in the last match. Brighton have not given up. Several opportunities trying to take the lead. Unfortunately, no team yet has been able to break that uh, that uh, that mat that uh, the tie yet. Sancho, yes. Wow. Alrighty. Sancho gets the first goal of the game. Believe it or not. First minute of this match. It is Sancho with a beautiful goal. And uh, finally, we have taken the lead against Brighton. Two goals in 17 matches for 
for Sancho. Sancho has definitely been um, the player when it comes to assist, not so much goals. But happy to see him make a contribution in this game. Here's Ronaldo. Wow, beautiful shot by Ronaldo to make it 2-0. And uh, that, that's going to seal Brighton's fate in this game. What a, what a beautiful, uh, you know, a beautiful skill move by Ronaldo here to kind of cut inside. And he has all the opening in the world to make a fantastic shot. And a fantastic goal. through yet. Here is Ronaldo again. Finds his way in the box. Shoots and he scores again in stoppage time. Would you believe it? Ronaldo has a brace in this game. And I mean, would you know that uh, this game that uh, took until the 81st minute to find a goal. Now we have three clear of Brighton. All within minutes of each other. Unbelievable. And yes, we have even more here. Brighton is going to get a corner and try to take it right at the right at the goalkeeper, right at De Gea. But De Gea makes a wonderful save to keep his clean sheet. And uh, to solidify the win for Manchester United, great game for us. A much needed three points to continue to climb up the table in the Premier League. Really, really good news for us. Anthony in the box doing some skill moves Fernandez to Casemiro who finds an opening but the goalkeeper does save it Anthony in the box Fernandez and uh, it is blocked there here's Hazard Here comes 
second half here.
against Spurs. This is a huge game because it's in the Premier League. We need to continue to move up the table. We need the three points, and I'm expecting Tottenham to, you know, give us a run for our money. I really am. So we are going to be playing the full match. And, uh, you know, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> but uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Here we go. Here's Anthony with some step overs already. Here's Shaw. Erickson. Casemiro. say Spurs are making mistakes, big mistakes. They are not passing the ball well. And, uh, you know, it is showing why they are, I believe, they're in, like in the mid table. They really are. They're like, uh, I can't remember, I think it's like eighth or ninth place in the Premier League. They are really showing in this game. Here's a beautiful pass to Ronaldo. Ronaldo in the box. Shoots. Scores. Ronaldo gets a brace. And, yeah. Martinez looking to pass. 
put it in the box. Here's Dallo. Finds Ronaldo and Ronaldo misses. Ronaldo had a perfect opportunity to get the goal there. But he was just wide. That was a beautiful pass. And uh, find Ronaldo. Beautiful pass. Okay. mistake there. We end up getting the ball back. Here's Fernandez to Erickson. Erickson trying to find Fernandez and return the favor, but he does not. But it ends up being a, uh, a foul. We do uh, get a free kick here. Ronaldo is going to take this free kick. This is going to be dangerous. Ronaldo might just get his hat trick right here. Let's see him. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, that was that was way wide. That's okay. <laughs> I was trying to be a little bit, a uh, little bit. Uh, what do you call? Um, unpredictable there. But it did not uh, go as planned. see if Tottenham can turn 
turn things around here. They, they do get an opportunity, but it is deflected. But yeah, it definitely is showing why Tottenham are kind of in the mid-table here, not really fighting for a... Uh, Champions League position right now. Oh, and there's Ronaldo with his hat trick. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And there it is. C. <laughs> yes. The iconic celebration there. Unbelievable. Ronaldo has been has been absolutely unbelievable. I can tell you guys right now where I'm going to show you after this game has ended. He is, uh, for the amount of games he's played, I, like, I, I think I just mentioned a couple of matches back, but I've been really playing my younger team throughout the season a lot. Um, I like to kind of rotate my teams and play the, and, you know, get the younger team a chance just so that my uh, experienced players can relax a little bit and, and be a good fitness for matches like these. Really, really important matches. And so it's a risk, but I do it. And I can tell you, Ronaldo, who's trying to get a uh, trying to get his fourth goal in this game, already is on a hat trick, but I can tell you, Ronaldo has played like eight games less than most of the players that are, you know, with him on the leaderboard with, uh, with goals in the Premier League. And yet he's got, you know, he's on top of the, uh, the goal score list. So Ronaldo playing unbelievable for, you know, as many games as he's had. He's not had that many, not compared to the other players, and yet he's on top. So it just really speaks to the quality that he has. And speaking of quality, here's Ronaldo again trying to find Van Der Beek and does. The goalkeeper, unfortunately, does get a handle on it. We do still have the ball. Here's Anthony to Ronaldo. And Spurs do get the ball back, but... Yeah. Anthony, I think he's gonna cut back here, yeah. 
trying to find Martial, but cannot. We, we do keep the ball. And now Spurs have the ball. Alright, this game. This game is almost over. It uh, definitely didn't go as expected. See, it's not over yet. episode we've done really well in the Premier League. Unfortunately, that first game against Newcastle, we did drop two points, but the other four games in the Premier League, we have gotten wins. So, what is that? Out of a possible, what is it, 12, 13, 14, out of a possible 15 points, we got 13 points. So, I, I call that a win-win. Hopefully my math is correct there, but yeah, I call that a win-win, and uh, unfortunately we did lose in the FA Cup, which means we're out of the Carabao Cup, and now we're out of the FA Cup, but you know what, that could be good news, that could be good news, and I'll explain in a minute. Okay, so with that, here are the standings, as you can see, we're in fourth place with 58 points, look at Manchester City right below us in fifth, they have 50 points so we're four points clear of fifth place and we're one point off third place arsenal you can see we're still 12 points off of liverpool in first but we have made good strides to get a champions league position at the end of this season and, and maybe hopefully even uh, the premier league title if we can catch up to liverpool as you can see cristiano ronaldo 21 goals in 22 matches he has played unbelievable and as you can see here from the Premier League goal scores he's at the top with 21 goals but look at the matches 22 matches look at Nunez in second 19 goals in 28 matches unbelievable Cristiano Ronaldo has played great as you can see in assist Anthony and Sancho have been playing really well as a playmaker getting really good assists and a uh, 11 clean sheet sits at the top of the uh, of the uh, the leaderboard. 
episode and as you can see the next episode as well we have some big teams to play so that's going to be even more exciting with that guys it has been a really really fun episode and it's coming to a close we only have a few more episodes left but i'm really really excited so with that, I'm going to go ahead and send it over to the outro. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Okay. 